What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix the unable to activate error on iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch and also how to skip the activation entirely if you've made a dummy account, an Apple ID that you no longer remember or you no longer remember your password. This is basically for older devices like the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that. And for those we can use a software called PassFab Activation Unlock. This one allows you to either skip the whole activation part or to fix the unable to activate issue. So Right here I have a device that is currently connected, it's my iPod Touch 7 generation and as you can see it says unable to activate. Now I have no idea why this problem appears, sometimes it's because the device requires an update but sometimes it just does that, it just cannot reach the server. In my case it doesn't say it requires an update, it just says your iPod Touch could not be activated because the activation server cannot be reached, which shouldn't be the case because I do have an internet connection, you can see the Wi-Fi icon in there and uh, yeah it just doesn't work. So if you have something like this or if you forgot your Apple ID the end password and you reset your device and it turns out you need that info again, here is how to fix it. Now before we even get into this, do keep in mind that this is only for educational purposes. Please use the information in this video only for your own devices. It is illegal to try to activate stolen devices, so do not do that. I'm not condoning that here on this channel. This is only for your own devices, to fix your own property and only for your device for which you forgot your Apple ID or password. Now you may say who forgets their Apple ID and password, but there are a lot of people who do that because many people do not know that if you create an Apple ID in order to get your social media apps from the App Store, your Twitter, your Facebook, your stuff like that, that account becomes bound to the device and if you reset your device you will be asked for that account and that password. Even if you created a dummy one and you never put the effort in to actually remember those credentials because you thought it's just for apps, no it's not, it actually gets bound to your device and if you ever reset your device you will get into an activation screen and you will be stuck. Another use case for this tool is if you get scammed on eBay. Buying secondhand devices can definitely be problematic, especially if you don't trust the seller because you may end up with a working device but a device that is actually locked and if the seller does not provide you the information to activate the device, you will never be able to activate the device you actually paid for. And if that device is older, like an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that, you might be able to use PassFab Activation Unlock for it. However, if it's a newer device like iPhone 12, 13, 14 and stuff like that, you will not be able to use it, it's a paperweight. So this is another use case, but in today's video we're going to fix basically this issue, unable to activate, which can look like this, this one is blue, it can look like this, this one is red, it says unable to activate and try again in there, or could not activate, there is also this error over here, or activation error, there is this error over here as well, or if you simply forgot your Apple ID and password. The program is available over here on passhub.com, there is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS, you can check it out, and let me show you actually how how to use it. So as you can see I'm not able to activate my device, for some reason it errors out and I cannot use it, I cannot go past this. So I'm gonna press in here start to remove and with the device connected we can see here the remove activation lock page over here. But there is a big disclaimer that you should definitely read. This method is not exactly perfect. If you use this method you will not be able to place any calls, receive any SMS messages, you cannot use your SIM card. You will be able to use your device to install apps and to use apps and stuff like that, use a camera and whatever, but you will not be able to use the SIM card at all. And this does support iOS 16 and iOS 15 all the way down to iOS 12 but only on older deprecated devices for which Apple provides no support anymore. Which is basically the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7 and stuff like that. So you should keep that in mind. I would definitely recommend you to actually read this. Another important thing you should know is that if you reboot the device after you do the fix it will require the fix again. So you will have to do this fix every time you reboot the phone. With that being said I'm gonna press next in here and it's going to put the device in recovery mode. I'm gonna close the screencast over here because it disconnected anyways and as you can see it says in here there is a problem with the iPod touch that requires it to be updated or restored. Instead of updating it and losing everything I have on it I'm gonna press cancel in here and I'm gonna continue on the program. I'm gonna press start and it basically gives me the instructions to put the device in DFU mode which I'm going to do right away. It's trying to put the device in DFU mode because it's going to jailbreak it. Alright at this point it says removing the activation please wait and this is going to take a while the device will reboot it's going to actually load check rain in here and it says removed activation successfully. So at this point I should be able to use the phone normally, however you should keep in mind that I will not be able to set a passcode, I will not be able to place any calls or receive any messages, but I will be able to use my apps normally and stuff like that. As I said, and I will repeat it, this is only for your own devices. Do not use this for any illegally obtained devices, don't steal devices, that's not good, that's illegal. So please only use this information for 
your own devices that you own, that you bought and paid for. If you forgot your Apple ID and password, that's a legit case. If your device is unable to activate or activation error or it requires an update to activate and stuff like that, that's a completely legitimate use case. Or if you bought a secondhand device from eBay, you got scammed, the seller vanished, again, a good reason. But please use this information in this video responsibly. This is only to fix your own device. All right, so it says in here that the activation lock was removed successfully and we can press done. However, on the phone, you can see in here, it says software update completed. So we basically skipped a few pages of the setup. We press continue over here and it says, welcome to iPod. And that's it. We've got our iPod back. You can see I also have applications in there. So yeah, the iPod is indeed usable once again. So you can see that this indeed works. But if you reboot the device, you will need to do this again. So do keep that in mind. That's basically it. That's how you fix the device. If it says unable to activate or activation error and stuff like that, you can press done in here and that's it. Thank you for watching. Definitely check the program out in the link below. As I said, a free trial is available. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.